Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Informatica that is update strategy transformation. What is update strategy transformation? Update strategy transformation is connected and active transformation. An update strat strategy transformation let you insert, update, delete the data from the target. Okay. And we can also reject the incoming data depending upon our condition. For example, when a customer is changing the address, we can use this update strategy transformation to update the data in the customer target table. Okay. Now we will see one small example. In Oracle, I am going to use the employee record as a source already I have created it and data is available and I have created one target data called target EMP target table actually it also contains the data here we are going to check the update of the update strategy transformation we can use the update strategy for inserting upda updating deleting and rejecting the data here we are going to check for the updation of the records in the target. So I have already loaded the data in the target. So the target table contains the data. Here what we are going to do is we are going to do some changes in the source. Here in the source two records uh, that one two three four one two three five contains the null for ename it contains null record for ename and I'm going to update one employee name with the null value okay now we are going to change the record and the source okay. here I'm going to change it directly but uh, normally you change it by using the update statement It's not a right way of doing the things. I'm just changing it here. I'm changing it to Rajesh. Okay. Now the source is updated. That means source on employee name has got changed. Before that, there is no employee name available for the employee number 1234 now let we will check the source once again now the employee number 1234 is updated with the e-name Rajesh in target actually this for the same employee number 1234 is null using this update strategy we are going to update this null record to Rajesh we are going to see and creating the update strategy transformation is very simple I already assumed that you know how to create source and target it's very easy by dragging it you can create the source and target in the mapping and I am using the map m underscore emp underscore update strat okay. I'm deleting now and I'm going to create the update strategy this is the icon for update strategy just click and drag over here and you can drag the ports it's very simple actually here the naming conventions you have to follow pd you don't know what i have given you pd i have to see that upd emp ok already have created that uh, workflow okay mm, and I'm changing it to UPD underscore EMP okay and naming convention for update strategy is always start with UPD and in ports there is no need to much worry about the ports input and output ports only and properties we are going to set one property over here in the update strategy expression in update strategy expression what is it update strategy expression 
the main feature of this transformation is the update strategy expression which helps us to flag the individual rows for insert, delete, update or reject. This is the following table which contains the constant list for each database operation. If you are going to insert, you can use the constant as dd insert or numeric value 0. If it is update means dd up underscore update or 1. If it is delete means dd underscore delete or 2. If it is reject means dd underscore reject or the numeric value 3. Here we are going to update, so we are going to use this dd update over here. The constant we are going to use as dd update. Validate it successfully. Okay, apply. Then okay. And remember, in target you need to set at least one column as the primary key. Then only using the primary key you can update the table. Otherwise, it will show error. Okay. Here, employee number is the primary key. And now we are going to workflow. Here, I already have created one workflow. And in session task, the one more unique property we need to set for this update strategy that is treat source rows as here we need to set it as data driven what is the data driven property is doing actually the data driven tells the informatica server to read the instructions coded in the update strategy transformation if we won't use the data driven property if you have not set the data driven property means then the informatica server will ignore all the coding available in the update strategy transformation. So it is must to set the data driven property in the update strategy transformation. That means for in, in the session property we need to set the data driven. Okay. We can we can run the workflow. Now it's running There. As we have changed something, it is showing error. We need to refresh the mapping as I have deleted and okay. Uh, as I have deleted the uh, update strategy and uh, again recreated, so I have not uh, refreshed the map in the workflow that is why it's showing the error L now let we will check the target here initially we have got a target for the employee number is null now by using the update strategy we have updated it let we will check whether here we have done it properly okay so the ro name rogers has got updated in the target that means update strategy using the update strategy transformation we have updated the target correctly so this is the simple task we have seen how to use the update strategy and in other coming uh, sessions we are going to see the scd1 scd2 and scd3 how the how we can use this update strategy extensively in the mappings thanks bye